Okay, the next program will be uh, a short sharing again. And I would like to invite for this uh, Mr. Fajar, Mr. Fajar San. Excuse me if uh, your name is not <laughs> correctly pronounced. <laughs> yeah. So um, he is working uh, for an NGO and uh, he's helping victims of sexual abuse, especially. And also not only that during this MCO, uh, he helped us, uh, a lot of us, uh, like, like grossly, uh, about 100, uh, 1,500 families. Uh, so we are really thankful for that. So now I shall give uh, time to Mr. Fajisan to come and share whatever you have for us today. Aduna azom bai pani na tu tom na wong yen di na faza san he na ah ah amadung ban tu man patom tom yen la ni na amapen Malaysia NGO kan mahina adia kin nule ba bol sen na to kisain sen he amapen ah covid sung in azong anle tu hong pia hong pia ina in kuan tu le zanga val bang tu tu le zanga val bang ina patom na nga ngi kini ang amapen ah NGO in Malaysia NGO wana sem khat mahi tu na amale campaign di se ajema samkik ni oh thank you good afternoon everyone uh, i am fajar santo adi i am a counselor working with Raganita. and a uh, warmest greeting to everyone and solidarity on this very precious day uh, Refugee International Refugee Day, Refugee Day, and also Father's Day to everyone who are father. So let me na, to me na adiakin na i gambel miten ni na i mga hunpa kang aman kalung dami in kipen tenaganita na sa mukat kahiya i bangun sunga i bang a pati ni to kito lai man kalung dami. Yeah, Tanaganita is an organization uh, working for protections of rights of refugee, migrant workers, uh, children, and women. In Tanaganita, Echipen, NGO Kipol Nakarina, Gamdang Mitevai, Gambel Mitevai, in Kwansung Bai Tom Tom Tukisaina Kasemohi. Including labor rights and also protecting a woman from gender based violence in tochang ina na sem mitarina na sem na ang pan boy na hi zong in nu paka hak san na boy na tom tom te ka phisen te hi also protecting uh, human trafficking victims in tochang ina me ang ki zong na tom tom te zong ka sem hi ka to te boy ka ka fan hi we are based in uh, pataling jaya and also we have office in pinang in kope na dia kina pije sunga kazumo ma to chang na pinanga zong kane yo he allow me to share my slides i will uh, share about gender based violence in taka no me pasal kal boy te na chi to ki sai slide so panang lang ni okay thank you very much okay Yeah, my objectives today is to develop understanding about gender-based violence, contributing factors and its effects, and the role of community in responding to GBV. In tunya kongen na pinbang to yam chile nume pasal ka buay na le minam te sunga ibang sana te bang chida na kisian piling chitui. It is important to note that. Building awareness on GBV issue is not build is not inflicting animosity between men and women. In he to to kisay na minamboy na he beklawi na he pe na zaypi na sepa he man ni to kisay itel ting tampi tapo mi kisam to tampi mi. In fact, it is a building a better relationship between men and women. Be kam lo na he. In the past, no male, pasal ka zong kizom na ako ito na din si lunggul na he. Building equal relations and respect between men and women in the family. No male, pasal te kikala, 
Kizakim, Kizata, Nam Tendin Chidongul Nahe. And society in general. Dia Kina Kipol Natuam Tuam Tiazong, he is with Tedan Din Kizata, Din Chidongul Nahe. Okay, I will start with uh, trying to briefly explain what is gender based violence. Ah, he no, no, may the Pasaki calm boy in a Chiatominangene. The easiest thing to say is the gender based violence come in several forms. In a bipedal gene chilehang, it can be in the form of physical violence. Pen, Takuleke, Zana Panjong Kilangi, verbal violence. Tachina Kamlemu, Pankitot Kisel, Napanjong, emotional violence. And also the very grievous one is sexual violence. No may Pasalka Kizomna top uh Not to forget also financial or economical neglect or violence. Okay, some of those violence are visible and easy to be spotted on. But there are also some other forms of gender-based violence that is not very visible. It is uh, hidden, quite, quite often hidden and subtle. I will introduce everyone to one form of gender-based violence, which is coercive control. In coercive control, But before that, I would like to define what is gender-based violence first. Uh, Gender-based uh, gender violence is any kind of violence in that committed by one person to another in in of different gender that's caused by different uh, power relations between gender. Most of the time, it is committed by men towards women. But also uh, versa in the less uh, frequency. Again, please. But also can be committed from women toward men, although mm. the incidence is less. Mm. Also, in the discussions of gender-based violence, we will include other genders. For example, uh, male towards uh, transgender. Or female towards transgender. Okay, let's uh, go back to coercive control. coercive control, It is a pattern of behavior that seeks to take away freedom and sense of self through demand, threats, and surveillance. In to a coercive control, it's a chiang in a hippen. 
It's very often coercive control come in the form of domestic abuse between a couple in the family. Okay, I, there, there is a 12 signs of coercive control that we can use as a tool to reflect on our own experience. So in a he kikebla na hang a he na thang pai na te nam som le nam ni na kimutheya to te pen e le na zong iket na ding lam pi lim lang bang a he Let's treat this science as a way to see our own experience and also observe others in our surrounding. In he tung tone na ele e zong kenina, e kimi pam te zong, he tung tone na, he et trading, he te trading kisame. The first sign of coercive control is isolation. In he tang pai na toki say limasa perina bayam chile, tuam koina he, he tuam koina, pam paina. Meaning that the persons who commit coercive control will isolate or limit the social contact of the another person. For example, prohibiting partners to meet the friends and family members or in-laws. Second sign is monitoring the victim activities very closely. There are sometimes uh, example of a partner putting a surveillance device into the phone to monitor the, the victim. Or sometimes asking his or her friends to monitor the victims. So the monitoring activities can be done in the hidden and subtle way. The third sign is denying victims freedom and autonomy. Like, for example, not allowing the persons to go to school, to work, taking away the phone, changing the passwords, and all access to freedom. The fourth sign is the gaslighting that happened in the communications. Uh, gaslighting briefly means always blaming the victims in all situations. Uh, even when the perpetrators knows that the victim is right, he or she will always uh, trying to blame the victims. Mm. 
the fifth sign is putting down victim. For example, name calling. Angana bangyam chile ne mo na kadeve min min hoy lo min siya kong to amin lo pito sabgom na chita porzong kimutehi. Uh, mocking, talking about, talking bad about the victims. Whether, whether directly or indirectly. Then limiting victims to the financial access. Uh, it also come in the form of uh, controlling access to bank. If the person has bank account. control mm. But in refugee situations, uh, they most probably not bank account, but limiting access to financial can also mean do not give or give limited uh, amount of money for the family expense. The seven sign, the seven signs of coercive control is rigid and re reinforcing traditional gender roles. In asagi na bangyam chile ngay na ngay na pan ngay na tuam tuam to yung kigente tehi. For example, childcare is a, is considered traditionally as woman responsibility, and men refuse to take part in it in gente nai na inge na chini hel chile ang nao pang hi na le numai te ta won di na ki tol ya ni even when the woman in the family also working but still they do not want to share the responsibility kin kon sunga nu pen na sem sil bol vai ko nai hang ina na don na nao kem na chi pen nu te ta won ding be ki na ki se mo ke the eight sign is Manipulating and turning the children against the victims. Mm. So the children will be on the side of the perpetrators. Number nine is controlling the body of the victims, like for example, appearance, to regulate what you can wear, what you shouldn't wear, what you should eat, what time you should go to sleep, what time you should clean yourself. The ten sign is uh, wildly making jealous accusations. The 11 sign is regulating victim sexual relationships. For example, demanding certain form of sexual act, recording, then frequency of uh, Sex, etc. Ah, ibang ina video sa ina tuam tuam ahoy lote kisa ikopi na hizong ina lam tuam tuam tuong simona bolte. The twelfth sign is using threat to control the victims. Ah, to chena lao sak la lao sak na tuong bosyan na kilang te. Okay, these are twelve signs that quite often hidden because it's happened in the close room. My apology for anyone because this sharing might uh, create uneasiness generally. 
But it is uh, important for us to go through this discomfort to build awareness of gender-based violence. Okay, the next part that I want to share with you is uh, what is the cause of gender based violence? Although there are many causes, but I will focus on two things. The first thing that contributes to gender-based violence is the gender norm and social norm that accept and condoning that men and women are not equal. Oh, in short, the cause is gender inequality that ingrained in the mind of individuals, family life, society, institutions, and cultural practice. This first uh, cause of gender-based violence is something that we need to be aware of because it is open become subconscious. By gaining knowledge and information about gender-based violence, we build awareness of gender-based violence. The second uh, contributing factor that I would like to emphasize to gender-based violence is many forms of life stressors that lead to mental health problems and lack of healthy coping skills. In as we all aware that our current pandemic situations uh, pose us in the more life stressor as compared to normal life. So let us to start to be aware of our mental conditions and when we need help, we try to seek help. Okay. Then I would like to, we wouldn't have enough time to see all the mental health uh, elements, but I would jump to this word, trauma. Okay, the, any bad incidents that happen to us will uh, possibly make us traumatized. So trauma simply means wound, but in the psychological term, it is a wound to the emotion. So when we are traumatized, uh, we will be experiencing any different... Uh, 
uh, sorry, when we are traumatized, we might experience many different negative feeling and thought. To bang yun na lung sim liam na sung lam liam na nai takciang yun na inga isun na ma ma azong ahoy lam sang yun na ahoy lo lam nga isun na vivang lurzoi. We experience prolonged fear, prolonged sadness, prolonged uh, tiredness. To bang yun ciang yun na lung ham na lao na atuam tuam kucim tang na zong tampi takit waktoi. We might feel hopelessness, and in the severe forms, we also might feel suicidal. To bang na sung lam liam na hongol chiang ina ah el el ma ma zong ki non lo nun tang ngam non lo kita isibol na chiang dong kita wakhi. So anyone who experiences gender-based violence, especially when it takes long time, they might be in the trauma situation. Tapi mana numele pasal kal nu pakalai zong ina hebang ina ball sian na kita man lo na angsot pian siang ina kini pate na sung lam liam ma na setak ina ong nayui. Okay, so between mental health problems and gender based violence, there is interrelation. Tapi na hi long sim cidam na buai na tom tom si tepen isung lam le Isong lam to ki zami. Gender-based violence can cause mental health problems, but mental health problems can also cause gender-based violence. No may le pasal ka buhay na hangin na lung sim chidam lo na lung sim liam na piang sakteya. Lung sim liam na hangin na zong no may le pasal ka la Kolam akimote kibosian nate piang teh. Just imagine when we are in distress, we can experience easily angry, easily irritable, and then we express those anger and irritability to others. Tuai na tuai bang ina ihe na thang pai na kong lung sim dam lo na ina tak cia ina ilung zong tom ina ai kampau zong man lo teh padawi. So that is one example of mental health problem can increase likelihood of gender-based violence. Hmm. To pen lung sim dam lo lung sim nami kata di na akim mukete nam kata hi hi. Okay, I'm going to go to the last part of this sharing. It's about what can we do to respond to the situations. Wena tom na igen kun bayam chile hi bang hak san na boy na tung toni na Bang cita ni nak pantit he tinggi yang cita he. The first thing we are obtaining knowledge and sharing knowledge about gender-based violence to develop sensitivity so we can observe our surrounding. Hmm, amasa ina tua piat ina fikir ni nanti ina no pakal boleh na to kisah api yang thole latte kan kan teli na. He tiki miki yang ada hole latte, izon sihat penting kita ni. Tu sihat sihat de, apa yang nak tu mukhe penting yang. Second point that we can do to help is we identify the survivors need. Hmm, ane na a, puna kita ni hati din mon izon sihat de yang tu pihi. The third point that we can do. Is obtaining knowledge on how and where to seek help for GBV survivors. Atom na hibang ang sanatong mite koy si Dani na huwa panpia gan pite din yam si Tuhi he. So when we look at the gender-based violence survivors, we will look at the conditions or needs. For example, whether the survivors need protections. Need safe space, needs livelihood assistance, social network, legal support. So bang ina no may lepasal ka lahat sa nabuhay na tuwte imu ite itagciang ina bang hiya mamaw din mo chipen lim taka na tell te ding kisa me amaw kabit kisa mo ay kaila kat lahi ay kabit ding kisa mo. In in kwan sung nun ta na sum le pa yak san na tuang mo chita pol zong kan hiya deyong tupi hi. 
So the survivors can also sometimes need assistance in childcare because often women who are surviving gender-based violence has dependents, which is their children. But not to forget, the survivors also might have potentials to be empowered. For example, mm. personal capability, uh, skills, social relations, economic activities that the person has been doing, etc. So the needs and the, the potentials help us to plan actions to assist the person. So this is a simple booklet that uh, I, we can share with everyone to help you uh, where to get help when there is someone experienced gender-based violence. There are some uh, phone numbers here, organizations, uh, including government's body that uh, you can go to seek help for gender-based violence. No phone For example, uh, WAO, Women Aid Organizations, pay attention and provide assistance for gender-based violence. And WAO is also official partner of UNHCR, especially in handling uh, gender-based violence. Anaganita also one organization that you can call when you need assistance for that matter. Uh, government body that you can contact is uh, District Social Welfare Office. In Kumpilam Parina, yeah, uh, District Social Welfare Office for me. This is a bit a distance probably for you, but District Social Welfare Office usually have a branches office in every state. Hilian Bill Nam Napan Gamlakan, Chine Zongina, Hina, Aveng, District Tom Toma Zumnehi. And under Social Welfare Office, there is a Talian Kasih or Talian Nur. It, this is a hotline uh, numbers that you can call 24 hours. Then uh, he uh, social welfare noya ale Talian Kasih kichi oma number he number na samle ochin na isom ni le na ilisong samte he. Another number that you can call is uh, All Awam Action Society. Hmm, nadang kasih taka ano may kipol na kasong ami. You may also call emergency line service 999 when you see uh, GBV incidents that you can intervene yourself. So the key message is when there is gender-based violence happen, we encourage anyone to see or experience to speak up and seek help. Okay, this is uh, the next part will be uh, considered a flow that you can, you will go through when you seek help. The person who experience or witness gender-based violence uh, may contact or go to either police station first or one-stop crisis center within government hospital emergency service. 
โบเซนัดทวงมีคติดินมุนอมูสังมีขาดปลิกซูมาไปที่ไปแต่ไอเกเลสตัววงสงคตาฮีเอาสิโอเอสิซิซงอ่ะกิริปอตเฮ You can do with either one depends on your distance, your easier access to those service. นังอมนามุนตกิจุยนะขัดโจโจอ่ะปูนักงานเทฮี Okay, so after you being attended to by either police or OSCC, you will be probably referred to mental health support that's available within the facilities. Hmm. So, bang na na bang yan kita siyang na akisam na zui na lung sim lam sidam na to kesaya ang kia tehi. They usually counseling or psychiatric unit that can be involved in such matter. ตัวบางตัวมีแต่หัวลิมพีนายจะลำทุนทุนต่อคิดพันติดีเที่ยง so if after that attention is given and the actions need to be taken is legal action so the next actions will be a legal step that taken by police and welfare officer ตัวบางเองนะตัวไม่ส่งหัวลิมพีนายของพี่ตักเจนะ Tol kat sung hit tak siang na, ah balik tele kipol na na abah nong som sih. So this briefly says that emergency protection order will be applied on behalf of the victim. Ah hi pen gim na tuang mi katang na kengen sakte kip kahu na kengen sakte pan pina kengen teh si na he. After that investigation process take place. ตัวเขียงเองนะอามาทุตุกิไซดอดเบนากันเบนางอมดีเฮ and other legal actions ตัวปานีนะทุกคนตัวกิตัวลงกัมตันนาเตกิจงตัวดีเฮ and the last bits of information that I would share is the for everyone who possibly potentially going to be victim of victim of GBV need to prepare all this List as a safeguard for yourself. Hmm. Ah, Tom, na kongen opin na hibang gamtan nate. Tawkisaya ite dinga ni takan lang tawkisay lai tom tom te na chapte ring tupi. Some important things that you need to keep are identity card. In your case, maybe your UNHCR card or community cards, driving license if you have. Then your identity of your children that's under your guardians. Eh, hito kisa ya, aki samte ding lai te bang yam chile na kan nambat chite license moto na nila lo license nambat te ah moto license moto chena muisian chite to chiang na 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 pangte muisian chite mo. Then you keep some money for your own expense when you are in emergency. Your medicines, uh, medicines. If you take any medicines and important documents, uh, merit certificates that you need to keep because sometimes it's needed when uh, for the uh, next uh, uh, Okay, of course the set of clothes for you. Sometimes uh, it is encouraged, especially people who are in the GBB situations, to always be ready to bring all this. List with you, pack in the bag. Whenever situation force you to leave, then you can grab it. So, bang na hagsan na hi ano pa kalbo na iyon na tuwag si na tuwa igen hi tuwa tng akisam tng pen na kembi gaya ring tupi hi. Tuwa na ang usap piten sa hi tng ma ato ang usap pidi ang hi. So this brief informations may not be very sufficient for everyone, but the objective of today is. To build uh, awareness of equality and respect to each other. Ah, tunya get tang bel miki madi na ah avikin kiching kin chim lo di he. Ay zon ay day na bulpin mayam chile no le pa kikala ah long sim kito tua thin de le kizata na inay thin de chile long na he. So me may we be able to build more warm relationship within family and. Community and society. Thank you. Ena in kwan song hita le kipol na tuang tuama halakat kisatang na lao ilama 
พี่คิดจะเสียมดีจิตตัวเต็มกุหลาบมาไม่ง่ายลงดำ Thank you Thank you so much our beloved and honorable uh, person Mr. Fajasan for sharing uh, this precious uh, knowledge to us uh, I personally bless and get a lot of knowledge from this especially uh, how to, the importance of our mental health Uh, and how to take care of ourselves. So, thank you so much for your time and whatever you have shared to us this afternoon. Ah, l u n g d a m a m a h e p a z a s a n le kamong pensak s i a k o p t o n g a l u n g d a m a m a h e t o t e v e n e e k i k e p t e na h e n a e e k o i i k i k e p di i t e aman ah t u c i n g tang t u c i n g takina ong jasakai mana l u n g d a m a m a h a n g 